Welcome friends and family. Thank you so much for being here. It's another episode of Mimi's Christmas Workshop and today I'm going to share with you how I make Christmas gift bags and a new craft for me is how to decorate a plain Dollar Tree glass plate. So here are my fabrics that I picked up at Walmart, some Christmas prints, and I'm just so excited to get started and show you how easy it is to make your own fabric bags. Now, to begin with, I took my fabric and I measured out um, 16 inches wide by 10 inches tall. I made one that wasn't quite tall enough, so now I know my measurements. So for a pint-sized jar, you would need 16 inches wide and 10 inches tall to make this bag. Now, if you wanted to do a quart size, of course, you're gonna to need to make it much bigger, but this is what I'm doing now is pint jars. I've got chow chow relish and hot pepper jelly that I wanna give as Christmas presents. So I wanted to make a pretty gift bag to put each um, jar in. So here I am just cutting out the fabric and I've got a top piece, which is this pretty Christmas print, and then uh, a lining, which is gonna be solid red. So I've got all my pieces cut out and then I just sewed um, down two sides, a 5 8 inch seam, and I trimmed the corners, just like you, you're watching here. Now one side is on the fold, so then I'm gonna flip this over and push out those points. This is such an easy drawstring bag. You're gonna take right sides together and tuck the, the outside piece of the bag inside the lining with right sides together. And then you just use your hands to kind of push it down and get it nice and straight. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew across the top and leave about a two inch um, gap so that we can turn this. So I took my sewing machine and went all the way around and left a two inch gap so that I could turn the fabric inside out. Now this is a fast method bag. There are lots of um, bags that you can make. You can have them with drawstrings in them. Um, you can get as fancy as you'd like, but I chose to make this quick version because I've got a lot of jars of chow chow and my hot pepper jelly which turned out so good. So now you're just turning it through that little hole that you left and pulling it both pieces all the way through. And hopefully you'll understand and can see why this is called the, a quick method. So now I'm just straightening everything out. All the points are straightened out. And then we're going to push that lining inside the bag. Just open it up and push it through. And that's it. See how fast and easy that is? So if you get an assembly line going, you can make a lot at one time. And then I just straighten it up. Now I did go back and press. And you're going to press down um, those two left open pieces at the top and then go back over it with a decorative stitch and catch that hole. And I did press everything nice and neat. And there I'm just testing it to make sure the jar fits in there snugly and I'm going to put a piece of ribbon to tie a bow across the top. So after I've pressed it good, I'm going to go back with a pretty decorative stitch and just catch that opening. I'm going to go all the way around. Now you can make these bags any size. You can make them smaller, you can make them much bigger. Whatever, however you want to make these, it's so easy. You just come up with your own pattern, measure your pieces that you want to put in the gift bag and then um, cut your fabric. But I did make seven of these in about two hours. That was from cutting out to finishing, which I think is a pretty good um, process time for these type of bags. So I've gone all the way around and caught that opening. And now we're gonna take ribbon 
and just very carefully sew it to the back of the bag. You don't have to make a, um, a drawstring um, out of this. It's, this is so easy. I just want you to see how easy it is to do it this way versus creating a drawstring bag. So I tied the knot in one end and I measured out 20 inches of um, the ribbon. Then I just tacked it on with the sewing machine in the middle on the back of the bag. And that's it. I don't have to worry about pushing it through a little channel to make a drawstring. And then I just pull it tight, tie a bow, and that's it. And there's enough ribbon hanging down that it makes a really pretty bow. So again, I cut that 20 inches. I'm just puffing up the top. And that's it, there's your gift bag. Again, you can make these in so many different sizes, it's so easy. But I do have um, a lot of chow chow to give as gifts. People really like my chow chow recipe and I'll link that um, video below. But the hot pepper jelly is so good. Pour it over a bar of cream cheese and then just have with crackers, it is wonderful. Or you could put it on a everything bagel with some cream cheese. So these are gifts that I'm giving out to family and friends um, this Christmas season. And we had and got um, seven of them made today. I've got more to make. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how easy it was. And there they are, sitting on the shelf, ready to be given as gifts. Now I will go back and print out a gift tag explaining exactly what the is in the jar and how to use it. But I just wanted you to see um, what they look like all finished. And there's so many different Christmas fabrics out there. Um, so go to Walmart or your favorite fabric store and find you some good Christmas material. Now I bought a lot, I bought about three yards of this because I like to coordinate so I'm going to take this Dollar Tree plate, this clear glass plate, and I'm gonna coat it with some Mod Podge. The whole plate gets a good coat of Mod Podge. Then I'm gonna take the circle that I cut out slightly larger than the plate and lay it on top of this glue. So now I've created my own decorative plate matching the bags. And these plates would be great if you have neighbor gifts that you have to give. You can put your favorite Christmas cookie on the plate, wrap it all up in the pretty cellophane um, clear paper, and then tie a nice bow. And they've got a beautiful decorative Christmas plate full of goodies. Now you just coat the back of the fabric again with the Mod Podge and you let it dry. It's that easy. Now these can't be put in a dishwasher, they're just decorative. Um, but now you just take your scissors and go around and trim off that excess. Use a nice sharp pair of scissors to do this so you don't have any ragged edges. And then after you've trimmed it all off, go back one more time with the Mod Podge on the back of the, this close to that edge. Look how pretty that plate is. I just love it, it matches my bags and I got enough material to make Christmas napkins and I'll show that in another video. But you just go back around where we trim just in case some of it came a little loose and then coat it one more time and let dry. Now these can be um, used as decorations on a plate stand, or you could put your gift bag on top with a box of crackers and just wrap it all up and it's a nice gift. There's so many possibilities. I'm gonna go back to the Dollar Tree and get more of these glass plates because I love how this turned out. So these also would make nice teacher gifts gifts for friends and family. If you've got to take something to a party, this is a great way to display your um, favorite snacks, cookies. 
and I think this turned out really nice. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so glad you're here. Let me know where you're from. And again, thank you so much for watching. Have a very blessed day.